Morning, everybody. Welcome to this session of Business Bite Size. So for the regular um, watchers of this, you'll know that I like to um, pick up on what uh, clients I'm working with are talking about, see if we can find some common themes and questions that are coming up and then um, share some of those thoughts that I have um, on those issues back with you in these Bite Size sessions. So at the moment, I'm having conversations, kind of big picture conversations with clients about what they're doing with their businesses next and a lot of that I think is a response to the changes that we've seen for all the obvious reasons over the last two years so clients are just thinking about um, products and services and what they need to be offering going forward in what I think is a changed environment <clears throat> and what I've noticed is people often start with the question um, looking at what the business is good at what are our strengths and how do we play to those and that's a that's a really important question. Um, clearly, if there's things that we're good at that, that we need to um, maximize, make use of, that's a good place, a good, a good thing to be thinking about. But for me, that's the second question. I think there's a question that you have to ask before that. And I think often it gets overlooked. And I think it's quite surprising that it does. Um, and you'll see, <laughs> you'll perhaps understand why when I tell you what the question is. Um, and the question is, um, what do our customers need? So I think if you start with that, then you can start looking at your strengths and what the business is good at in that context. So um, the reality is that there's various things we can be very, very good at, but if there's no market for it, then we can promote it as much as we like, we won't, we won't succeed. So it's really important, I think, to take a step back. And I, I think sometimes when we're working in the business, we get a little bit introspective and we're internal looking all the time and we're trying to improve processes and all those things. And we don't actually get our heads up and look out of the business and think about customers. Um, market research can be done, of course. Um, but I think you can do that effectively uh, based on what you know about your own customers. Uh, and sometimes, again, as, as business owners, business leaders, we're, we can get detached from the coalface. So I think it's important to go and talk to people in the organisation that are dealing with customers on a regular basis and try and understand what they're hearing from their customers and what sort of things that we might need to be doing. So it's really, really important to start with what the customer wants. That gives you a context then for looking at what the, your strengths are. And of course, you should be playing to your strengths, but they need to be within that context. And then the third question I think is really important to ask. And, and again, this one often doesn't get asked. Um, we start with an idea. Perhaps we start with a customer idea. We understand what the customers want. We can see that we've got the skills and the ability to deliver on that. And then we get all excited and optimistic um, and rush forward. The question we need to ask is what is going to stop us? What could stop us? And in the current you know, situation, that's a number of things that might be just getting hold of materials, uh, might be getting hold of people uh, with the right skills. Um, it could be uh, a stronger or cheaper competitor. So I think it's really important to, again, step back and think about um, what are the things that could stop this succeeding? And those of you that have listened to me before will know that I like the idea of having a minimum of four options. The good news is the op option one is always don't change anything. So just carry on as we are. So again, that's a, that's a, a good approach to come up with three or four different ideas and then use these three questions, you know, as, as, a, as a kind of initial filtering, if you like. Um, how strongly do the customers need this? How good are we? Would we be at delivering? And what are the likely barriers? And you might find that there's a couple of options or one option in there gets dismissed fairly early on because there's too many barriers to entry or too much investment needed to grow your skills and strengths to deliver. So again, it, this is big picture stuff. It's, it's kind of early stage thoughts around developing new products and services, but I think really important questions. Um, all the three questions come together quite well and, and can just um, start to make sure you go in the right direction when you're thinking about developing new products and services. So thank you for listening and uh, we'll catch up again next time.